Hey guys, late night video. I'm actually in a hotel right now because my home ran out of electricity. A transformer was broken or whatever they become. And just the four homes, the one behind me, the one next to me, and the one behind the one next to me has not had electricity for some time. And the electricity, no electricity means no air conditioning and no internet, which I can't survive on. So I'm at a local hotel, but don't worry, I have points and I figured it was okay to spend the points anyway. And I'm making a video because this came out just now, Lord of Atlantis and Teffy's Protection. Now Lord of Atlantis, I've had a very interesting experience with that. If you remind, remember my old trade binders, I actually had a five Lord of Atlantises from seventh edition, which at the time was like forty to fifty dollars. Now it's like a hundred and fifty dollars, which I now look kind of foolish for having sold them at one of the GP Houston's, and that's kind of. I mean, when the cards are older, you you want to keep them. That's what I learned. Is if it's old, it's on the reserve list, it is a special foil, you need to hold on for dear life to those cards. So we have Lord Atlantis, a new judge promo. I don't particularly like the artwork very much. And then Teffy's Protection, which is, is it that the same artwork? It looks like the same artwork. So, but it comes in foil. Now, the regular Teffy's Protection does not come in foil because it is a Commander 2017 edition. So, by the time you guys wake up, there will be lots of videos about what I have purchased as a store. I think you guys will find those videos interesting as well as kind of the price point. I, I'm not BSing you. The person I purchased from watches the channel and I told him to watch the channel because... It's an interesting breakdown of decision making when you have. So I spent about two thousand dollars for a collection plus some booster boxes plus a some completed sets, and each of them broke down to a certain price point. Well, anyway, I think these two cards are very good judge cards, and I like I like the artwork. I feel like they all should have different artwork. If it's going to be a promo, that they should not be allowed to reuse the same artwork. Now, in this case, it's a little different because it is the first time in foil. But a lot of times, it just seems kind of lazy to me for them to repeat, you know, an artwork. Or in the reverse, for a master set to just copy a judge artwork, which is supposed to be unique and special. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about these promos. I think they're pretty good. Bye, guys.